Spencer Pacinger is still writing his story, both literally and figuratively. The events of his life inspired the hit CW show, All American, about a kid from Crenshaw that goes to play football for Beverly Hills High School and the collision of worlds that ensues. After playing college football at the University of Oregon, he was signed by the Giants as an undrafted free agent in 2011. I decided to pick the Giants. So you get into the playoffs, lean up to the Super Bowl, and then obviously win the Super Bowl, which mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. I'm balling on the field, see my older brother, see my dad, and now I'm a Super Bowl champion. It's my rookie year. Like, this entire career has already been solidified, you know? Fast forward after that, every Tuesday I would go see a movie and just diving into a story for like two or three hours and realizing like this was part of just my mental health. And that kind of started the idea of what could be my position in TV and film. So kind of take us through everything here because I see greatness in here and I don't even know where to start. Yeah, I think it, uh, I mean, the fact that we're even in this space today, the fact that you guys are, you know, in my home all starts with uh, the poster All American. I remember the first time I saw it on a, on a billboard, I wanted to climb up it. My wife told me not to. Uh, probably got arrested, but... Ain't no chit chat, run it again! Again! So I just started reading books about story structure, about uh, character design, about just the, the idea of building worlds. And uh, one of the big ones was a story by Robert McKee. Okay. Really just breaks down how to create a compelling story. You got bored over here with, I don't even know what I'm reading <laughs> over here. And you also have episode bored. I don't know if we can get into that or if that's we can top, blur that's top yeah. notch. We can G14 blur it out. classified. You guys <laughs> This board kind of keeps me up to date on projects and where they are by, I'd say every two or three months. So some of these projects are unscripted projects. Um, some of them are scripted projects. Some of them are TV shows. Some of them are movies. So it's about uh, access, about resources, about time in general. So this, this wall is me attempting to create my own version of, of a whiteboard in a writer's room. Before you exit here, you have a wall. I mean, to me, yeah. this is the most important part of this creativity room. Yeah. What role does your family play in all this? Oh man, I, I don't do any of this without them at the top of my mind. Um, this wall represents just my family in general. It, it starts with that picture up top. This is me and my last season at Oregon. We're undefeated at this time. One of my closest friends from high school comes to visit me and not thinking we were even gonna date to just falling madly in love with each other, having two kids, getting married, and her, you know, coming to live with me my last three years in the NFL. So, you know, you can be business in the rest of the room, but when you walk out, like, you have to see your family. Uh, it kind of resets me from going from sitting at that desk to walking out there knowing that the rest of the house is meant for family. This is the house I grew up in. It's definitely changed over the years, but uh, so my grandfather owned this house and that's the house that I was raised in from, shoot, two months old to going off to, to college. This street, Slauson, like this is the main pipeline to my childhood. I use this street to go to school, go to my grandparents' house. You know, when you're a kid, you need yeah. a dope to cross with. Yeah. This is the first street that I crossed by myself. We're coming up to the part that I played all of my prep sports. A lot of the stuff that we discussed within All American, like, actually took place at this park. Yeah. Um, to the point, like, the opening of the pilot is a story that we that we built based on an experience that I had here, where I'm playing on that diamond right there. That's that's uh, field number one, diamond number one, and gunshots rang out, and everybody drops to the ground. After a few minutes, we, we hear the coast is clear. And as we're walking to the car, we see a dead body in the middle of the street. In this area at the time, like that wasn't that uncommon. Yeah. So this park is what kept me from falling into some of those other trappings. It wasn't until the show airs that I get a handful of my teammates like, 
yo, I actually like want to apologize to you because we just thought, oh, you were this like whitewashed Oreo kid that didn't have the same perspective as us that are from the inner city. Yeah. And I just told him straight up, like, y'all don't realize it, but the experience that y'all had as a freshman at Oregon, I got that initial shock when I was 13 years old going to Beverly. So by the time I was in college, this was nothing. No. Like this was just a bigger playground for me, whereas you guys were still trying to find your footing being the minority in this big old space. Hilltop Coffee and Kitchen, a community coffee house in the heart of Inglewood. We stopped by to catch up with his business partner and co-creator of All American, Dane Mork. So me and Dane met through a mutual friend of ours and I realized that he grew up in Palos Verdes, uh, which is a suburb of Los Angeles. And we just fell into that conversation of how two kids can be from Los Angeles, but have two completely different ideas of what Los Angeles is to them. Yeah. And that just led to a long conversation to the point where that first convo that we had was sort of the idea that spawned all American. We had a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences. Being LA kids, you know, we found out pretty fast. We ran in similar circles and we mm -hmm. played on a lot of the same fields. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, spawned all American and here we are. Uh, recently connected with Michael Strahan yes. to do a uh, documentary uh, on uh, Bishop Sycamore. Yes. How did you land that to yeah. work with the man himself, Michael Strahan? Man, it's, it was something that I saw the articles coming out that this supposed fake high school got out and played against IMG and they lost 58 to zero. And then I text Dane, I text a few other of my friends jokingly like, this is an insane story. Like we should yeah. go after, we should do it. So so I just reached out to Michael Strahan. Literally the next day later, I was on the phone with his head of Unscripted. Uh, Ethan Lewis has been paramount in this whole process. And just one of those things that a text led to a conversation, led to a meeting, led to, and then kind of steamrolled into what it is today. Between creating All American, collaborating with Michael Strahan, and growing their company, More Street Productions, Spencer and Dane have bright futures together, but they'll always be tied back to where they started as two kids that grew up on opposite sides of town whose paths would eventually cross. And perhaps there's nothing more All American than that.